NFL Gambling Picks Week Number Three, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Watch and wager on all these games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six, incredible sports books: Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot. Opening soon, opening Friday, September twenty eighth at eleven a.m. The sports book at the Fitz. There's going to be six sports books in Tunica. How awesome is that? Very that nice. is awesome. You can get more information over at tunicatravel.com. You can get our picks over at winningcureseverything.com. Our picks contest. You can find it in the top right free on to winningcureseverything.com. It is free to enter the contest. You're picking 10 games against the spread, college and NFL games, and you're you're putting down a little tiebreaker in there. We're going to get you to put the total number of points on a game. Uh, look, last week's winner went 8-2. and two. It was Michael C. He's from Alabama. He won himself a $100 dining certificate to one of the finer steakhouses down in Tunica and a $50 free slot play. This week, you get a free two-night stay at Hollywood Casino and $50 free slot play. Every week, we're going to have you something different, something cool. Go join that picks contest. As far as our NFL gambling picks, last week I went 3-2. and two. I am 6-4 and four overall. Chris also went three and two. He is now seven and three on the year. Let's jump into these things. You want to go first? You want me to? I'll go first. It doesn't matter to me. Go right ahead. Where to start? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. All right. We'll just we'll just start with one. Cincinnati Bengals. I got plus three at the Panthers. Road dog. I I love taking dogs in the NFL. I think all these games are close. Uh, Andy Dalton is playing out of his mind. I think they're the better team. I think they're the most complete team. Panthers have some guys banged up on defense. I think the Bengals are going to be able to score. It won't be a high-scoring game. The Panthers, there's something wrong with that offense. They're not looking good. Cam does not look healthy. And I'm, I'm, I'm going with the team that I think is the better team. I'm taking the Panthers plus three. The uh, Bengals plus three. Band- Bengals, sorry. Right. Bengals plus three. Apologies. Bengals plus three. All right. I am I'm rolling with several favorites this week. Several favorites. Actually all favorites and, and one one point uh total. I'm, I'm all dogs. <sighs> uh I got the Raiders at the Dolphins. I got the Dolphins minus three. Sunday noon, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. This is a body clock game for the Raiders. Uh West Coast to East Coast for early game. It, it, Everybody knows how that goes. I don't think the Raiders are very good this year. I think that Gruden is still trying to figure things out. The offense is not very good. The Raiders have uh, moved the football. They've only got 32 points to show for it. Uh, the Dolphins have barely moved the ball, only 299 yards per game, uh, but they've scored 47 points. They have. Uh, they are very efficient. Well, right? the defense is getting them in great position. Yes, great position, uh, but they've also gone up against some pretty good defenses in the Jets and the Titans. And I think in this instance, they are going to be able to score points. I think Kenyon Drake's going to run all over the place. Uh, I, I like Ryan Tannehill right now. Like, he just seems to be playing well. And, and Adam Gase, he's a fantastic coach. Yep. I think he's going to kind of show John Gruden a little bit. Uh, like, hey, you've been gone for 10 years, man. Like, this is how we play football now. That's right. So, I, I like Adam Gase. I like Ryan Tannehill. I like Kenyon Drake here. Uh, give me the Dolphins minus three at home. Sean Payton and my New Orleans Saints have looked just god awful to start the <laughs> they, season. They hadn't looked good. I mean, just if the Browns awful. had a kicker, they, they'd they be zero and two. They should have lost to the Cleveland Browns. They gave up like ninety eight points to the Bucks. I, I I can't figure this out. I know this. They're way too well coached. They're they have talent like nobody's business. This is the week they break out. It, nut up or shut up. Right here, loser leaves town. If the Saints don't win this game, all is lost. Saints plus three. This is a divisional rivalry game. They don't like the Falcons. They get to play indoors, so they're not afraid of that. They don't have to worry about the weather. They're going to go to Atlanta. They're going to walk away with a W. You're catching points. Sean Payton will figure this out. So you got him what, plus three? Got him plus three. All right, Saints plus three. I have got, (laughs) this is absurd, right? Uh, The Bills at the Vikings. Got the Vikings minus 17. Uh, And that is a huge line, right? What is, 
what is it here? It's on 16, 16 and a half, and a half here. Half. I got it at 17. If it's 16 and a half, I like that even better. Uh, the lines, by the way, are brought to you by Gold Strike down in, uh, down in Tunica. 17 is a lot of points. I don't care. Josh Allen going up against that Vikings defense is a horror show. It, I mean, it, there will be blood. There will be screaming. There will be gnashing of teeth. It's gross. Okay? So, if you don't want to see somebody being tortured on the field, you might not want to watch this game. I think the Bills are terrible. They are awful. Buffalo is 31st in the league in passing yards, only 139.5 yards per game. They are not going to be able to run the def- or run the ball on this Vikings defense. No, Minnesota is going to be pissed after letting that Green Bay win get away. They had to settle for a tie after Daniel Carlson missed three field goals. Uh, and I, the coach, like Zimmer, came out afterwards. Did you hear what he said yeah. about the like? Yeah. You know, what did you think? Of what I mean, you saw, you saw why we cut him. Like yeah. you saw the game. The, like, it needs no explanation. Sports writers are trying to get a rise out of these guys, but. But you obviously know why he got cut. Yeah, like I mean, he didn't. He wasn't late for a meeting. You know, no, it's, I he think, didn't fail I think, a drug test. I think Carlson got cut because he came out and admitted that his nerves got to him. He just he, you can't let your nerves get to you if you are a kicker in the NFL. It is put it out of your mind and go back and hit the next one. Like period. And there's a lot of kickers that can do that, like Dan Bailey, who they just picked up. Dan Bailey is one of the most accurate kick. I know he is the most accurate kicker in NFL history. That the Cowboys cut, like as a money saving thing, right? To save like not a lot either. I mean, I mean, we're talking a couple million dollars. No, I don't like, know that it was a couple. I mean, I think it's like around a million bucks. That is insane to me. I understand Dan Bailey getting like on a, up there a plus hundred million dollar salary cap. But but he's the most accurate kicker in a dome in history. And now he gets to play in a dome. Good good things here. Good things here. So the Vikings minus 17, that line would have to get up over three touchdowns for me to not take it. Um, and even then, I don't know that I would ever feel comfortable taking the Bills here. I'm rolling with the Vikings minus 17. Uh, I ain't taking the Bills un- until I see some kind of life. And last week was not enough life for me. Because the Chargers had to come all the way across the globe to come over there, and they still beat them double digits. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I'm I'm staying away from the NFL 17 point lines. That's just crazy. But yeah, there's no way you could take the the Bills. My next game, I'm going. I'm going with Denver. I don't. I think the Ravens only look good because they played the Bills. I think they got. Beat up by the Bengals. I think the Bengals exposed them for being what they are. I think this Bronco team, they're not great. They have flaws. But I think they're a physically tough team. They're catching four and a half points in Baltimore. I think they're a live dog. I think they got a chance to win the game. But even if they don't, I think it's going to be a field goal game. One way or another, it's going to be close. I think it's going to be low scoring. I'm taking the points. I can understand that. Four and a half seems like a lot. See, especially for a game with a total of is, 44. Is Case Keenum the better quarterback in this game? Yeah, I think he probably is. I don't know that he is. I'm not saying that he is. I think it's close enough to ask the question. I think it's definitely close enough to ask the question. Uh, next game for me, the 49ers at the Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs minus six. Uh, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yep, got it at you six. still got it at six. Okay. Sunday, 12 p.m., Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. San Francisco's giving up 278 passing yards per game. That is uh, 24th in the league. It, it's pretty bad. Eight from the bottom. Mahomes and crew, uh, they are going to eat that defense alive this weekend. It's Kansas City's first game at home. And a bit of a body clock game for uh, for the 49ers, just a little bit. They, they still got to travel two time zones. So, eh, you know, I'm I'm reaching here. I understand that. Uh, Kansas City is plus one in turnover. San Francisco is minus two on the year. That could easily account for another score here. Uh, you know, I, I like Kansas City. I think there's going to be points scored in this game. I like Kansas City anything under a touchdown. I can't. I can't do it. It's so hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes right now. But at some point in time, the NFL figures this stuff out. And I'm just, and once once the NFL does figure it out, then I will jump off the bandwagon. But until then, 
You yeah, ride, her, but, ride her till she bucks you. Didn't you yeah, say that? No, I, I agree, but I just think I think this is absolutely the NFL's begging you to take Kansas City. I think they're begging you to. And I think everybody will. I think what's, absolutely what's everybody will. Well, just wait till game time when 98% of the world is on Kansas City. Uh, juice is, is minus 110. Yeah, that's well, it. that's fine. Right now, we, we record this on Tuesday. Okay. We're a and long way from Sunday. Hey, I've, I've already made my bet. That's I, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Just th- This game it, scares me. I'm staying away from it. I can understand. Go ahead. My next game. Game number four for you. Probably not a wise pick. <laughs> but there's some, there's some logic and reasoning behind this, okay? First, I love home dogs. In the NFL, you just don't bet against home dogs. You don't get it very often. I'm taking the Redskins plus five and a half against the Packers. Yes, I am betting against the god of football himself, Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Five and a Three half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay, I was like, Sorry. wait a minute. I have I have dyslexia and I can't read very well. <laughs> I was, um, I'm looking at the thing. I'm like, no, no, what? Three and a half. Three and a half. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Here's the deal about the Redskins. They are a every other week team. Okay. You, they're going to look like world beaters one week. You fade them the next. Then when everybody's off the train, you get back on the train. It's like the Jaguars. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Every other week, Jags you just last ping year pong did the same thing. It, you're fine. My thing about the Packers is this: this will be the first game that they get to go on the road. True. You got to see how that offensive line travels. Bad offensive lines do not travel well. They don't have a good offensive line. Aaron Rodgers is obviously playing hurt. At some point in time, the bend but don't break eventually breaks when it's damaged. I think we are going to find out, if not sometime sooner, by the end of the season, Aaron Rodgers is playing on something far more damaged than he is letting on. I, it would not surprise me if he's trying to play the season out with a torn ACL. Once it's torn, you can't tear it anymore. It's just incredibly painful, but you put a brace on it to stabilize it. It would not shock me. I think he got all that money and he got hurt week one and realized – I cannot take this contract and not tough this out. Dang. And so I, I that's probably far fetched. That's probably, you know, just crazy thoughts. But it God, I don't know that it would shock me if I found that news out. I don't think that would shock me at all. The way he looks out there is pretty incredible on one leg, but it obviously looks like he cannot put his any weight on his other leg. I think at some point in time that catches up to you. This is his first road test of the season. The the Redskins just looked putrid last week, and I think Jay Gruden's a good coach. He'll get them fired up. He'll get them ready to go. I'm catching three and a half points at home. I'm catching more than a field goal with a home dog. I'm taking it. Well, and it, and it's a must win for the Redskins. I mean, they they had twenty thousand empty seats last week. Like, well, they you, won't you this need... week because Green Bay's got a massive following. Agree. They will all be wearing green and gold. Exactly. That's that's the issue. You got to get that fan base riled up. You, you got to do me. something here. Uh, game number four for me: Steelers at the Bucks Monday night. I'm taking the over fifty three. Tampa Bay has the number two total or uh, point scored offense. Uh, Pittsburgh has number nine point scored offense so far, which is crazy. Number nine in points scored and doesn't have a win yet. Like that's a little crazy, right? A lot of turnovers. Yeah, exactly. Like number one and number two in total yardage in the NFL. Their defenses, though, are awful. Absolutely awful. Pittsburgh, number 25. Tampa Bay, number 31 in uh, total defense. Number 27 and number 28 in points allowed. Bad defenses plus really good offenses equals overs. So I'm going over the 53. I'm not taking a side. I, I just don't see the Steelers going 0-2-1 to start off this year. Uh, but Tampa Bay has looked great, so I'm not going to bet against Tampa Bay. But I'm not going to bet against the Steelers going 0 two and one or one one and one, whatever the hell it is. I, if I if I finish, I'm going over 53. If I finish Sunday, Thursday and Sunday, up in up in the wallet, I, I'm going to be all over the bucks. I'm going to be all over it. But I got to I got to play it with one money. That makes sense. it scares me to death. But I'm I will I will love nothing more. Now, what, let me ask you this. What happens if Antonio Brown doesn't play? I think Juju Smith-Schuster gets like 100 targets. You don't take Tampa Bay minus plus two? 
If no. that's still the number? No. You still wouldn't lay the points? No, it, it, it scares me to death. Okay. Well, because it's, it's not plus two. In, well, it's okay. It is here. I think that's going to be closer to like a pick em by this weekend, and it might even be Tampa Bay favored. So, but even still, with the number being right around there, still terrified because we expected this Tampa Bay team to be bad, bad real bad. And at some point, I feel like the shine is going to come off. We have seen Ryan Fitzpatrick do this where he's otherworldly, amazing, and then he starts to throw the ball to the other team. Well, but here's the deal. So I actually went back and looked at that. He did that, and it was a franchise year, and he did it all year. And then after he got a big contract, then he came back to earth. I mean, this is his 14th season. I get it. I get it. I understand where you're coming from, but... I mean, this ain't a contract game. It's a contract year. It is a contract year. I, man, I don't know. And see, see what I'm saying? Like, over 53 makes sense to me. Okay. Over 53. I'm just, I, I'm just play asking. Play the total. What if, don't what, get caught up in this bull crap. What if Antonio Brown doesn't play? Don't get caught up in this bull crap. I just like talking about Antonio Brown not being there. What's your last game? My last game, I'm going <laughs> all the way up to Seattle. I made the point this year. I am fading the Cowboys every game. Didn't work last didn't, yeah, week. Yeah, didn't work last the week. The Giants are just god awful. Seattle not good, but they're not god awful. If Russell Wilson is healthy, he will be the best player on the field. Let me ask you a question on that. All right. Is Seattle bad, or did they just play two really tough road games to start the season? Oh, okay. I think there's a combination of this. They played two really tough road games. So they played at the Denver yep. and at the Bears, yep. two, both really good defenses. Really good defenses that press the quarterback. Yeah. Where they are bad, they are probably the second worst offensive line in football. Which which could hurt them against the Cowboys. Yeah, but the Cowboys – the Cowboys aren't the Bears, and the Cowboys aren't aren't Denver. Yeah, I mean they they don't they don't press the quarterback as much, but and they, the they quarterbacks had, that Eli ain't Russell Wilson. No, no, okay. you got that right. Eli, Eli can't Eli, move. He's now, a statue. Now I get Eli's got Saquon and he's got Odell, and Seattle doesn't have any of that stuff. That that didn't matter. That didn't matter because Eli is not Russell. And if Russell can get away, can scramble, can get outside the pocket, which is what he does. That's how he'll find guys open. I like Seattle to go out. I got a minus one and a half. I think they're going to win the game. I think they're going to kick their butt. Uh, MGM Grand, Gold Strike doesn't have anything on this line because they don't know what the injury level's like. Unless Russell Wilson is not playing, give me Seattle. I'll lay whatever the points are up to a field goal and a half, four or five. I don't care. I think they blow through the Cowboys. This Cowboys team will not travel well. Last game for me. I told you last week I'm going to fade the Cardinals until they show me some kind of life. Uh, I don't think the Rams are as good. I don't think the Redskins are as good as the Cardinals made them look. Uh, look the Cardinals are averaging 175 yards a game on, in total offense. And now Larry Fitzgerald is out. Um, or injured. Yeah, he's he questionable. Mu- yeah, he's questionable. But he, he, he ain't 100%. Nope. And that ain't good. Trubisky is uh, he started getting the ball in the air. He did that against Seattle a little bit. Twenty five out of thirty four for two hundred yards, two touchdowns. He did have two picks. Uh, Khalil Mack is going to terrorize Sam Bradford in this game. The Cardinals' offensive line is just about putrid. They are really, really bad. I think that's why Josh Rosen is not playing right now. I, I would agree with that. Um, I probably wouldn't play him yet either. And I, and I think the Bears are going to destroy these guys. I got the line at four and a half. You're not getting it, that now. Day that it opened, it is at, what, six? It, there's off, no line. It's off the books for, for gold strike, but it's six, six and a half all, offshore all day long. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be around a touchdown. You're laying a lot of points. And I, I think that's okay. Because I think the Cardinals are really bad. It, it's it is a fight to the finish between the Bills and the Cardinals as to who is the worst team in the NFL this year. And I did not think it was going to be the Cardinals this year, but they have looked so inept on everything. Like not can't, just not just David, offense. David Johnson can't run the ball. Larry Fitzgerald and no other receiver can get open. It's D- bad. Defense, they haven't looked great. Special teams, they haven't looked great. I don't know, man. It's it's the one thing that, London, that I have told London you for games, years. Bills versus Cardinals, what do you make the line? 
God. They, they're playing neutral site. They're playing in London. What do you got? The Bills showed at least a little bit of life last week. I'd probably do Bills minus three. See, I would have I would have picked like Cardinals minus three and a half. Really? I really think the Bills are just garbage. I mean, the Bills I think, had a guy quit at halftime. Yeah, they did. They're just a <laughs> shit show of a – sorry. Trying to it's all good. It's they, all they, good. They are, they are absolutely a joke. Uh, one thing that I've told you, <laughs> we've been doing this. This is our third football season doing this at winningcureseverything.com. I always say bet against bad teams. That's right. No, like and that's you bet a, against that's bad a teams. Smart thing to do. So I'm against the Bills, and I'm against the uh, the Cardinals, and I'm against the Raiders this week. The Bills pick. I woke up and I said before I start looking at these games, <laughs> I said, "What does this line have to be for me to like the Bills?" And I thought to myself, "I think it's got to be around 17." And I looked, and my bookie had them 17. And I thought. Nope, nope, I was wrong. Nope, that's not enough. That's, that's not, not enough. near enough. I thought it needed to be 17. No, no, it, it can't, No, I'm still not okay well, and, with this. And Gold Strike has it at 16 and a half. Yeah, if, no. if you can get down there and get it at 16 and a half, I, I don't like I'd to lay that many that. points in the NFL. You just know what's too nuts many things happen. is that it's 16 and a half and the over-under is 41. 41. Well, I think the Bills will score nothing. They don't think the Vikings are going to score 40. Would it shock you if the Bills blank them? You mean if I mean, Vikings if the Vikings play? blank them, they score nothing? No, that wouldn't surprise me. So you, the Vikings aren't scoring 41. This isn't college. They won't do that. No. No, but I could see the Bills scoring like a, a garbage touchdown. All right. So last week, know. we we killed the Bills. So 34-7, to seven, something like that. You know. we, we're going to cross the team off every week. Pretty easy to cross off the second team. Cardinals. Cardinals. We're crossing them off. Crossing them off. New first coach fired. Bill O'Brien. I, th- I think he gets to add it to the list. 100% Bill O'Brien. I don't think that Anthony Lynn gets off of that list just because he went to Buffalo and beat up the Bills. It, no, he, not like, yet. He didn't hurt himself by any stretch, but but he ain't off the list yet. He ain't off the list. He, I mean, that, look, but they Bill didn't O'Brien, look as good against Bill the, uh, the Bills. Bill O'Brien did a little cutsies to the front, of, from the front of the line. Hugh Jackson, he's still at that damn front. Yes, yes, he is. I need, I need you to get fired, so a, a capable, competent coach can take my Browns team. They are so close to being good. I think they're a head coach away from being really good. Uh, is there anything that you would change your mind on so far this year? I yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to tell mine first? Yeah, go ahead. Tampa Bay. Oh no, yeah, no, no question. I mean, Two obviously, no question. Hang but on. like, what they did against. The Eagles offense or defense? Defense. I didn't see that coming. I had Tampa I Bay 0 and 2 to start this season. I had them 3 and 13. Yeah, I think I had them 2 or 3 wins. And they're 2 and 0 and likely if Patrick Mahomes isn't some freak show, they're the best team in the NFL. I mean, look, their they're defense, the best offense they, in the yeah, NFL. the best offense, but the their defense is Pretty They're an putrid. offensive genius with a freak quarterback is the only thing keeping them from being the best offense in football. Yeah. Dirt Cutter. I, I thought that guy would have been the first coach fired. I believe that before the season started. And and they fixed that thing. Good gracious. All right, we're giving you everything you need to know to be a winner. Go down to Tunica, put your bets in, get some action on your favorite plays. These picks will be up at winningcureseverything.com. Go put your picks in on the picks contest over at winningcureseverything.com. But, yeah, go down to Tunica. Get more information over tunicatravel.com. We will see you guys next week. If somebody knows Sean Payton, tell him to get it together. I got too much money on him.